for today's cup of coffee. I need more coffee. I need like a six pack of Red Bulls. <laughs> I've tried to explain to him that that can be dangerous. It really is. There have been let people that have explode. died. Let my heart Let me what be a, a statistic. What a foolish thing to say. <laughs> Again, with the... This one will probably just be the bludgeoning. The contemplation of the, the bludgeoning. bludgeoning. Because that happens frequently. <laughs> oh. Oh. We actually made a new channel trailer. I sniffed. He sniffed, sniffed through the whole damn thing. She caught me at a bad time. But anyhow, because you we did not. You caught me at a bad time. The channel trailer that we had 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 been there for years. Basically told us nothing. Told no one anything about the channel. Most people miss the whole thing that was playing in the background. And that's okay. If you know who GTL is, God bless ya. Yeah, been there, done that. On the other side, on the visitor side only. Stranger Things, other no, side, the upside well, down. Maybe <laughs> we gonna be talking about things from the other side today. We have from Paul Seaburn. Oh God! And I thought that that last paragraph I had misread it because I was expecting him to be a smart ass. And, and I, he was no, he actually was not. I went back and reread it. And so that was my, you know, bias against him. And he is from Mysterious Universe. He's no Brent Swanser. But who could be? Seriously. But this is an interesting topic. Mm -hmm. Exorcists are suffering burnout as the number of possessed people rises. Does that surprise anybody? Huh, maybe they should start hiring people. Oh, well, and, and they... Maybe they should start promoting their people instead of being like, Oh, we gotta get permission from the Vatican or whatever. It's like, fuck the Vatican! Oh, he says this. I did not. Anyhow, I... Don't rant, let, don't let rant, me, don't let rant. Let me go on that. Well, I will put gladly. That, put that on your channel. I will you gladly. Have I have already done a rant you, on TikTok. Then, well, no, put that on your YouTube channel, and I will put the link to your rant on, on ours, okay? Cult! Shh, quit that. Anyhow, the link for the article on Mysterious Universe will be in the description box. Mm. If I do bludgeon him, I'll try to capture that on camera. But anyhow. You'd be doing me a favor. No. I, if I'm going to get an assault charge, I'm going to earn it. I'm going to make it big. <laughs> oh, you ain't going to get... <laughs> anyhow, Mr. Seaburn writes, quote, it's a rare worker who doesn't complain about burnout, but most people don't often lump Catholic priests into the category of workers. However, one group of priests claim that they are suffering from having too many customers and not enough support from their boss. Mm. It says, no, not that boss. The bishops in Catholic dioceses around the world who say priests uh, those priests say that they don't give them enough backing they need to do their jobs as exorcists. And because Mr. Seaburn never tells you who's doing the quote, it's just random quotes throughout the article. Somebody said, quote, some said that they were seeing 30 to 50 cases a day, end quote. That's a lot. Maybe. How about y'all get some more exorcists rather than just having the fucking sticks up your asses and being like oh exorcists or possessions are rare the hell you say they're not they're not anyhow at the regina apostle i knew oh. i was gonna blow it i practiced this word i practiced oh. it the regina apostle rums apostle rums Recent 16th annual exorcism course. That's why nobody goes to this. They can't pronounce it. Uh, which is a course on the exorcism ministry and the liberation prayer in Rome. The, somebody quoted again, first and most recognized in the world to offer a tentative interdisciplinary research uh, to those who are engaged in this field, end quote. 
The major complaint heard by said researcher Giuseppe Frau from exorcists attending the training was how overworked they were. As high as that number told Frau is, the total may be higher because most priests must first determine that the person claiming to be possessed or claimed by, to be by those who brought them in is really under the control of a demon or evil spirit. So they've got to, you know, they've got to meet criteria. Yeah, the Vatican's eat up with evil spirits. That's why they don't want. Oh more, that's, that's why they don't want more exorcists. Oh. More exorcists. One of the many things attendees learn in the class is the warning signs. Should be are the warning signs of possession, which can include speaking in Latin, Aramaic, or Hebrew when they have no prior knowledge of the language, unusual physical strength, and vomiting. Of, of course, soup. there are many other reasons for vomiting, so the priests are also trained to determine non-demonic cases of possession behavior. I think it's interesting that they didn't put speaking in Greek because the Bible was written in Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek, not Latin. Exactly. Anyhow. Latin was not a biblical language. This quote... I'm assuming it's from Frau. Anyhow, somebody quoted and said, our course is based in, on the pontifical, oh my God, oh Athenaeum Regina, Apostle of Rome. Of Rome. Uh -huh. I, it's something. It's something in Rome <laughs> uh -huh. that teaches people about uh, being exorcists. In collaboration with the group for socio-religious research and information, GRIS. Of Bologna, and will address a Bologna. And will <laughs> Bologna, Bologna. This is Bologna. why I can't speak. This is why he just his energy throws me off. Because uh, the majority of my chart is Aries, and I just uh, knocked over her heat. Right, right. Because he does this mess, and will address a wide range of issues: anthropological, phenomenological, social, theological liturgical, canonical, pastoral, spiritual, medical, neuroscientific, pharmacological, uh, symbolic, criminological, <laughs> legal, and juridical. There's too, there's too many ols. There's too many ols. I think that, that they probably could have you know, made that a little more succinct. But anyhow, and that's obviously where a big part a of the workload burnout comes from, especially in times when pandemic, war, and economy are giving people their own burnouts that can cause strange behavior. Well, now there's a difference between being stressed out and being possessed. Very. Uh, according to another attendee, researcher Louis Santa Maria del Rio, many times the exorcist must first deal with others who have told have told the person. Huh? Somebody quoted and said, many of the potentially possessed people they see in Spain have spent time with New Age spiritual or meditation groups, end quote. In addition, misinformation has caused many people infected with COVID-19 to think they're possessed. What? 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 I, I don't even know. Or to that, believe. No. Now, unless, like, they were... Bo now, some people just pretend to be possessed just for shits and giggles. Who would do that? You're asking that question? Yeah, well, anyhow. You're asking that question? Have you seen my generation? Yeah, well... Yeah. Have you seen yeah. Elijah's generation? Yeah. Never mind, never mind. Anyhow, they think that they're possessed I, or to believe that an exorcism can Whoa. remove the disease better than medication or treatment can. For real, there are people that believe that? That's not the... That's... No. Exorcism doesn't fix that. Orange juice. Get you some damn orange <laughs> some juice. Some sunny D. Some fucking sunny D. According, the vitamin D, man. According to interviews of attendees by the Times of London, the priests say their bishops refuse to bring in more exorcists to help with the workload. In worse, in some, it's worse in some cases, uh, in some areas, the survey found that Italy has 290 exorcists 
and Spain has 37. This is a whole nation, 37, while the UK and Ireland together have only 28 working exorcists, <coughs> and Manila in, in the Philippines has only one exorcist. Because office. they do not care about people. They do not. Okay, a little help is on the way. There were 120 attendees taking the course in May. They care about the money. Think about this, 120. We've got how many billion of people on the planet? Okay, while it's obvious that many of the people seeking exorcisms really need medical or mental treatment, uh, mental health treatment, and counseling, the actual number of exorcisms has slightly increased in recent years, and performing them is exhausting for the exorcist and those helping out. Then hire more, but y'all won't. One of the cases discussed won't. during the class was a nine-hour exorcism performed in December of 2021 uh, at some place in Italy at the Church of St. Mary of Mount Barico on a 28-year-old woman after she attacked a priest hearing her confession. Somebody quoted, she ran from one side of the penitentiary, not penitentiary, penitentiary, to the other and jumped on the furniture, continuing to shout blasphemous phrases in Italian and other languages at the top of her lungs. She would also have tried to attack the religious who were trying to reassure her and would have also taken it out on her mother who would have slapped her face. Good. Rightfully Good. so. It took four people to immobilize her. And this comes from a Google translation, so God knows a what it really said. A fucking dart with the damn tranquilizer in it. You can't do that, I don't think. I think that they have to be cognizant or something as far as no substances, because those substances can open other doorways for other spirits. You wait till they wake up. What? Tranquilizer. Oh, well, yeah. that, then it's going to be the same thing all over. All right. You tie them down to a chair. They, they you get tie people them for, down to a chair this is, when, they are un, when they are unconscious. Then when well, they we'll, wake up, we'll get to that. Exorcism. We'll get to this. Throw in Pope Francis speaking often about evil and exorcisms, and it's no wonder exorcists are overworked and burned out. Well, what does Mr. Seaburn think that the Pope is supposed to talk about? And from what I have heard, this Pope is talking about things he shouldn't be talking about. Why? Because the fucking Vatican is eat up with demons themselves. Well, that's, I, certain there have been quite a few of the priests in other nations that have taken issue with some of the things that are being that are coming out of Rome. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to say. It says, there is no one simple solution to their dilemma. The world needs more mental health providers who can diagnose and treat the non-demonic cases of possession-like behavior and less leaders talking about evil. See, I disagree with Mr. Seaburn on that. Now, he's denying the, the spiritual a war that's going on in our world at this point. I mean, I agree. And he says, who does an exorcist see when that. possessed by the demon of stress? And that was, of course, him being snarky on that. Uh, as far <laughs> as kid talking about tying them down, that's one of the things that people have had a lot of issue with during exorcisms. Because when you do have somebody that is violent, I mean, what do you do? Then you've got people who come in and they're like, oh, well, these people were abusing people. Let me tell you something. When you've got somebody that is acting out like that, all right, if you are in a mental health facility, they put them in a four-point restraint. Exactly. Which is that, the, you know, the, the, hand, the wrist and the feet are, you know, they're yeah. strapped down. Yeah. That or you have chemical restraints, which they do give them a, a shot of something, not a tranquilizer dart. <clears throat> Although I'm sure there have been people Put who the work shot. there. Even as far as when I worked at the jail, we had an ERC chair, which is an emergency restraint chair. Because if you've got somebody that is that belligerent, you cannot do, you know, that you can't do anything with them. You no. have to restrain them. No, and the majority of those people are eat up with demons, too. Well, some of them are, and some of them eat up with meth and other things. As a demon. 
Well, yeah, I think it is. I really do. But when it is the church, and this is, I think that was one of the things that there's been several times that the church has been brought up on criminal charges of abusing people. You know, so what do you do? What do they do? And that's part of the reason that they are so leery of doing an exorcism. And it's not just the Catholic Church, it's it's other, you know, Protestant denominations and stuff that do exorcisms and deliverance ministry. That if they have to restrain somebody, and then to, here come the newspapers and all this stuff. So, between a rock and a hard spot, and the one that loses out is the person that is possessed. But do they need to get more exorcists? Yes. And... That is one of the things that, because a long, for a long time, the Catholic Church, you know, were really the only ones, as far as the Christian faith, that anybody thought about doing exorcisms. Even though there's other people of all different cultures sure they are. that sure they do are. exorcisms. Yeah. But even they have specific, uh, you know, things that they have to do. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just like as far as Islam, we spoke to, uh, you know, some people one time and it was a matter of taking somebody that's, you know, been diagnosed as possessed or whatever, yep. that you had to take them to the Middle East. Well, you know, how many people get to do that or can do that? Right. As far as the Jewish people, I don't even know if they talk about it. Most of the time they don't talk about a lot of things. Um, Which is ridiculous because it needs to be talked about. It does need to be talked about. I think that uh, the Hindus, I think that they have a way to, as far as a form of exorcism, it would be interesting. If, if anybody out there is Hindu and that you would like to explain how uh, exorcism is done within that belief system, that would be great. So every culture does have a way of doing that. Yeah. But a lot of them don't share it. So if you've got random people out here being possessed and nobody is there to help or nobody even knows who to ask for help, yeah. But do I believe that these things, and it's not just COVID-19 causing people to believe they're possessed. That was just bizarre. That was a totally bizarre statement. So, kids kids opinions do not necessarily reflect no at but all. if i have offended someone i do apologize because we understand his is not against people who have are of the catholic faith i think his is more towards the vatican and some of the things that have come out of that yeah, yeah. i think a lot of people that's their misgivings about that part of a belief system we know why we believe what we believe and people point fingers at us, and it's like we ain't pointing a finger at nobody. Because, <sighs> you know, it's just a matter of everybody trying to find the truth. Yeah, pretty much. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. But I thought, do I believe they're on the increase? Absolutely. Do I believe that they need to do these seminars to train these exorcists? And it is a seminar. Yeah. I think we did a story not that long ago that it was like five days for them to learn how to do that. Mm -hmm. And then the, it was a matter of apprenticing under somebody. Okay, if you've got that few people that are doing the exorcisms, what are you going to do? Have a little cluster of them following around helping with the exorcism? Yeah, pretty much. Well, you have like two. Two people. With yeah, you. but that puts the, the training thing behind crank them out a little faster people even as far as some of these deliverance ministries and stuff and billy bean has been coming up quite frequently in my world for a while i actually did email him billy bean yes about a year Jelly or so bean. ago and his was yes i will be praying Jelly and I thought, well, you know, of course, I think he's another one that is horribly overwhelmed. Oh, yeah. Why is he not out training people? And maybe he is. We don't know what he's doing. We yeah. don't know what he's doing with his life. 
Well, no, actually, I went on his website and stuff like that. And tried to. I, it was a matter of effort trying to track him down to get in touch with him. Anyhow, I was the jelly bean. I was very much underwhelmed by his response, and I had provided him pretty detailed information. I mean, not like the pages that I could have sent, but you know enough to where it's like, yes, we've got an individual in our family that needs assistance now. Billy Bean. The, the offshoot jelly bean. The yeah. rejected jelly now bean. That's, that's the rejected brother over there someplace. Yeah. The knockoff jelly belly. So let us know about what you think about the exorcisms and stuff. Um, yeah. Do you think that demonic activity is on the rise? If you don't think it's on the rise, let us know why. Because what I've seen, oh yeah. And it's just going to keep increasing for a minute. Yeah. So you, you've been forewarned. Anyhow, if you've had experiences with the supernatural, paranormal, encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, kids over here taking a deep breath. I don't know if he's getting ready to go on a tirade or what. Oh! <laughs> if you would like to, if you've had any encounters or have seen people as far as possession, you know, if you've got local, regional, or family myths or legends, Email us, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com, and the uh, email address is there in the description box as well. Know that you're loved. Yes, uh, regardless of what I say. And, and it's one of those that, you know, a lot of people, that's an easy way when you don't feel like you're loved, if you don't know where your place is on this planet. Now, devil can get a toehold on that. Especially with overuse of drugs and alcohol. That is, with these planetary alignments, yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Because that's that's a good way to open a, a doorway. That mm-hmm. you, yeah. Anyhow. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment. Most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. I stand by what I said. Fuck the Vatican. But the rest of y'all Catholics, I'm sure y'all are good. I'm sure y'all are good. But the current Pope, he's a demon in disguise. A wolf in sheep's clothing. Nobody trusts him. No. No, there's, like I said, there's been quite a few people. And I can't remember the name of... The, I can't remember if he's an archbishop bishop or what it is. You can just this, look at him and be like, this oh, there's something off right there. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can listen to what he's saying, and it's like, oh, that is not biblical at all. So, yeah. Anyhow, with that, we will see you on the next cup. Yes. Bye. Bye.